Yo, know, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jess Jr. Listen, I'm a bit excited for this. I don't tend to do these type of videos because I get scared of this, alright? You will never catch me deep in the sea. You get what I'm saying? Deep in the sea, I'm black. Listen, leave me alone. That is not a place where I need to be. This video, I'm basically going to be reacting to the most bizarre creatures in the ocean. Can't lie. Yeah, I might not eat fish after this. <laughs> but anyway, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that stuff really helps me out with the algorithm. So this video can get shown to other man them you get what i mean so love over here so let's not waste any time let's get watching okay let's go okay okay there is no place on earth more daunting and more dangerous than our yeah. oceans whether nope. just below the surface ready to pounce on unaware swimmers or excuse me <laughs> that was not a fish that was not a fish. That looked like a sea frog with spikes. I don't know what the hell that was, but legit, I'm not jiggy with that already. And we're only in 14 seconds. What or is this? Or lurking in the darkest depths. Oh my God. The number of water dwelling demons out there is nightmarishingly astounding. Menacingly named that looks goblin like a real sharks fish. lie in wait while enormous deep sea spiders scurry along the... That's not a spider. I'm not stupid. Who do you think I am? I know that's a crab. No All mistake. Right. Witness one of these underwater monsters, and you'll never want to pull on a pair of swim trunks again. Not to mention the ever-present threat anywhere near of violent water, great whites. So, who's ready for a quick dip? If the tentacles weren't enough to make you squirm, the sheer enormity of this creature is bound to do the trick. The aptly named giant squid is a deep-sea behemoth. With Right, let's be real here. I love calamari. All right. When I see squid, I see calamari. So we're best friends. We uh, don't scare me because I eat this for breakfast. But let's go. With the largest ever specimen recorded by scientists, stretching to a nightmarish length of almost 43 feet or 13 meters, and weighing close to oh a ton, days. you would assume that agile and elusive wouldn't be the fitting adjectives to describe yeah, a beast of this size. But lift indeed, that. they are making the giant squid all the more scary. As one of the ocean's most brilliant hunters, the giant squid has the unique ability to catch prey from a whole 33 feet or 10 meters away, simply by sh I'm gone. It's captured me, eating me alive. I'm its dinner. Shooting out oh their my two God. feeding tentacles. Despite their colossal size, the giant squid is highly mysterious. Actually, and only to be fair, he's swimming next to it. Oh, that's tiny. Why? Because I'm they right. live deep beneath the surface in the ocean's yeah, so-called twilight zone, at depths of between yeah. 1,000 and 2,000 feet. The goblin shark earns its title as one of the most avoidable ocean creatures. As one of why are your fish so ugly? You know, you've got so many nice, pretty looking, you know, animals out there. Not animals, sea creatures, life. But fish never look, you know, you know, I can't look at it, but oh, I want to stroke you. You just look so cute. I don't get that vibe from fish. Fish, you kind of different, you know, it's them ones. They look ugly, but taste nice. <laughs> one of the older species oh, still swimming God. around. And the only remaining representative of the Mitsu Corinidae family, the 125 million year old oceanic That's Grim a Reaper name. is essentially a living fossil, having far outlasted more famous predators. Adding oh, to the mad. intimidation of the obvious sword-like blade sticking out of the front of the goblin shark's head, these creatures have been spotted at up to a normal Look at it. It does not look real. I've not seen anything like this before. There's got to be a myth. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can believe that. That looks like something from, you know, it looks all CGI. That don't look real to me. Where's, show me the real thing. Show me the real thing. Then I'll be scared. Otherwise, I could slap this Formous up. lengths of 20 feet. Although on average, between 10 and 13 feet long is more common. Oh. So why does it look so much more intimidating in the water? Much look like at this the giant thing. Squid, the goblin shark prefers to stay far away from human territory, sticking oh, to the lower and middle regions of the oceans, where it stealthily yes. hunts its meals, using its layers of jagged teeth to its advantage. While Smart. the goblin shark presents Smart. itself as one of the most demonic looking of sharks, it's far from the most famous. Again, you see, they don't look nice. They look scary. They look... Ugh. Why do we eat fish? I don't know. They just basically look like aliens to me. The closest thing to looking like an alien is something in the sea. Don't care what you say. That title, of course, goes it to the Great true. White. The species feared by the masses ever since Steven Spielberg gave us Jaws back in 1975. With about 300 teeth arranged in a number of a rows bit. and an unwavering carnivorous mindset, it's easy to see why. These beasts yeah. can grow to immense sizes too. Take Deep Blue for example. 
I can't lie, but you know, if you've watched Shark Tale, you know that sharks are friendly. You don't need to worry about it, man. Sharks trying to be dolphins out here. Don't you don't need to be scared of a shark. Fam, I'm telling you, be scared of a shark. Yeah, don't don't be anywhere near it when you're in the sea. Run, swim, <laughs> do what you gotta Arranged do. Arranged in a number of rows and an <laughs> unwavering carnivorous mindset, it's easy to see why. These beasts can grow to immense sizes too. Take Deep Blue, Slots. for example. She's roughly 20 feet long and weighs an estimated two tons. Oh, yo, did you see the size of it next to that human being in that little cage? Oh my God, that's nuts. I can't lie to you, that's a bit. Mm -mm. That your breakfast, dinner, lunch, one chop like that. You know how you eat your Jaffa cakes and that gets the job done. It's one of the largest great whites alive. She devours sperm whales for breakfast. It's no secret uh -huh. that the great white is the ocean's modern apex predator. The sight of a fin breaking the surface Best. is a universal warning for beachgoers to scramble out of the water. And yes, attacks do happen. There were 64 unprovoked shark attacks reported around the world in 2019. The media 19. tends to overhype the danger, however. So take the shark threats with... I mean, yeah, I can't lie. 64 is a good number. Rest in peace the people got taken by that. Damn shark. 64, you know, around the whole world. That's that's good. That's good numbers. God forbid, please don't let me be the one to lose my life to a shark. Please, I touch wood now. Please go... With a grain of salt. In 1996, 43,000 Americans were injured by toilets. In that same year, yeah, just see? 13 people were injured by exactly, sharks. Exactly, exactly. Looking like a terrifying mesh between a snake and a leech, this is the lamprey. A creature with that's, a first that's... impression what capable of making even the bravest of us take a backward oh. leap. I don't know why, but it just makes me feel so uneasy. I don't like this. This is alien. I don't As like it. As a real-life oceanic Dog. vampire, lampreys suck Dove. the life out of their prey by attaching their sucker and leaving round, persistent wounds. Lampreys Why are you have been letting pissing off wildlife you? officials around the Why? Why is he smiling, fam? My guy is just like, yeah, I'm donating my blood. There you go. You eat up my guy. I <sighs> Great Lake area for years. Now officially could classed not do that. as an invasive species. Saltwater or freshwater, lakes or rivers, the shallows or the depths. It doesn't matter. The parasitic lamprey thrives wherever it finds itself. No joke, the lamprey can even climb up waterfalls. There are typically three types that's of nuts. lamprey. Bruv, it uses its mouth. I don't know if that's correct, but imagine you climbing with your mouth like Spider-Man, but with your mouth instead. What did he say? That's, that's mad. That's, that's the mad. The bloodsucker, the flesh eater, and the one that, well, doesn't really do much at all. While these incredibly versatile parasites oh. typically prey on fish, Ugh. human yeah, encounters no. aren't unheard of. Although, we wouldn't wish it. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. Come on. I need to get through this video. <laughs> on our worst enemy. As an underwater yeah, devil nah, spawn made famous nasty, thanks though. to Finding Nemo, let us introduce you to the anglerfish. Lurking throughout the murky depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, the anglerfish has a resume as one of the most terrifying creatures below the surface. Using its bioluminescent lore, aka the giant light bulb looking thing attached to its head, the anglerfish beckons its prey toward it. Then, faster than a speeding bullet, pounces with its... Above, I blinked and I opened my eyes and it was gone. Nemo was gone fam. I swear that was Nemo. Or am I losing my mind? That was that quick. I don't even know what fish was there. Large Damn. jaws and sharp crooked teeth. Perhaps the strangest most uns- I swear I saw a picture of this. If I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck it up on the screen, but oh, yeah. I thought this was just in cartoons. What's going on? Yo, UK government, do you want to explain this? What's down there? Talk to us. Because <laughs> that looks suspicious. Settling feature about this deep sea demon, of which there are over 200 different species, by the way, isn't its menacing stare or crooked it smile, just looks so but its nasty, reproductive but... habits. When a boy anglerfish meets a girl anglerfish, he latches onto her with his sharp <sighs> teeth. And before too long, the two fish become one. Weird, right? Known scientifically as Melanocetus johnsoni, some anglerfish can be quite large, reaching 3.3 feet in length. Most, however, are significant. Yep, there he is. That's it. That's it. It's just baby one. This is the baby version. That beach one was a big boy. Significantly smaller, I'm just... often less than a foot. 
Fam, fam, please, how do we do this? How do we eat fish when we know that's in the sea, fam? I don't care how tasty it is. All right, you tell me in the comments, you're going to eat that, yeah? Let's say you go to a five-star restaurant and they lay it down on the plate for you. Mm, mm, mm. And then you find out what type of fish it was and you saw it was that. Are you telling me you're not going to throw up? If you're not, you're mad. You're part of the aliens. Well done. Congratulations. With a Nasty diameter fun. of just under five inches, the blue ringed octopus might not be as physically imposing as some of the other critters. Yeah, that one looks kind of, you know, it doesn't have enough. needle like teeth. It no. doesn't have a thirst for blood. But make no mistake, the blue ringed octopus is not to be underestimated. Okay. Sure, this tentacled sea creature may seem rather harmless on the outside, showing off its glowing unique markings, but their venom made up the of hell? a poison called tetradoxetin is powerful, potent, and potentially fatal. These animals Bruh. carry enough venom to take down 26 humans within minutes. At least we would know when one of them has bitten us, right? Wrong. Their bites are tiny and often painless. See what I'm saying here? I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I don't care how much money it will take. You will never pay me enough money to get underneath there, to get anywhere near that. I don't want it. I don't want that. That's not for me. You know what I mean? I'd rather eat the fish where now I'm kind of backing away from it. Look at that. Look at this thing. Bruv, it's got lights, fam. It's got lights. It's got LEDs. <sighs> you can't be eating a fish that, that, that's got LEDs. <laughs> Meaning that by the time we realize that the respiratory issues and paralysis have set in, that's it's nuts. already too late. The dangerous blue ring is typically found throughout the Pacific and Indian Oceans in tide pools and coral reefs. Man, if Making place even the largest tiny, of great white seem small, the biggest shark ever to prowl the oceans is the infamous predatorial destructive Megalodon. With a bite strength of over 40... I've spent a lot of money on Megalodon, if you know what I'm talking about. Damn you, GTA. Taking my money. Thousand pounds per square inch. Take a look at one of its teeth compared to that of a great white, and you'll quickly understand why. Estimates suggest that the Megalodon grew Damn, between nuts. 50 and 60 feet, or 15 to 18 meters in length, and weighed around 48 tons. Bruv, okay, all right, now this is probably why I, I have no idea about this, yeah, conspiracies and all this stuff. I, I mean, if you're seeing this and you had all the money, yeah, I don't think anyone would want to go explore there. Bruv, why? Why would you want to spend the money to go down there and die? That, that? Yeah, no, no, your dinner, your literally free dinner for these things. I can't do it. Of course, according to most scientists, this former apex predator went extinct millions of years ago. However, there are a few unique thinkers who maintain that the Meg still swims in the dark depths of our oceans. What do you think? Could That's the Meg crazy, somehow fam. still be alive today? Yeah. We've actually got if an entire is... video dedicated to the former oceanic behemoth. I Check it out after this it. one. The link is in the description. Yeah, I'm if not we watching consider that. the blue ringed octopus nope. as cute on the outside, killer on the yeah, inside, then the like Japanese spider crab is the yin to that yang. It doesn't boast paralyzing poison, and it won't be sending anybody to their premature grave, but it's one okay. of the most hair-raising, nightmarish undersea creatures in terms of straight-up looks. The fact that, that the spider crab nice. can grow up to 15 inches wide in the body with a 12-foot leg span and weigh up to 44 pounds, it's no surprise that it's considered one of the world's most intimidating sea monsters. Oh, it just looks like how can that be intimidating that just looks like a big spider yeah i mean you know harry potter and i, I would run away from that spider hagrid is a bad man you get what i'm saying but still does it taste nice does it taste nice it's not gonna kill you but does it taste nice so you go think about it. see not to mention that they can live up to a hundred years old expect but they age well as well you get what i'm saying just like wine it must taste fresh the more mature Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut that To find these arthropods on seabeds between 500 and 1,000 feet in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Japan. 1,000 feet? That's pretty deep. So it sounds like we're in the clear then. Nope, not quite. This crab does like to venture into shallower waters when it gets the urge to mate. So watch out. As the cousin to the goblet shark, right. and looking like a cross between a prehistoric lizard and an underwater basilisk, that looks like a the bloody frilled snake. shark is equally mysterious and menacing. The frilled Bruh. shark's mouth is just as terrifying as that of the great white. That just looks like a snake. It's lined with 25 rows That's of backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth, with close to 300 in total. 
My question is, yeah, we're seeing something that looks like a snake, yeah, like a land creature, but in the sea. Are they humans, then? Human fish? Hmm? Honestly, that looks like a snake. Don't act like you don't see that, because I see that too. Look at that guy. He ain't got no teeth. He looks like a snake. Think about it. That's what. Every single one of which is comparable in sharpness to a razor blade. This menacing swimmer has been spooking divers with its glare ever since it was discovered back in the oh, 19th that's just century. A big since snake then, with measurements wings. Measurements have noted that its long cylindrical body can reach lengths of nearly seven feet. Even though no one has ever seen it hunting firsthand, Man, scientists so believe that, very much like a snake pouncing, it uses its posterior fins as propulsive surfaces to launch itself at its prey. Sorry, sorry, but you have to, that's a snake at high speed snake and then constricts its body around the victim it typically resides in depths of between 390 and 4200 feet let's head down to the ocean's far distant grave keep me in the shallow end of the swimming pool of the atlantic ocean more than 16,000 feet below the surface where there is no light and no plant life and where water is cold here no. another deep sea monster awaits unaffected by storms or ocean currents the waters are perfectly still except for the ferocious fang-toothed deep sea dragonfish scurrying around Sticks. for its next meal feeding on small fish crustaceans and anything else it can find the deep sea dragonfish like many deep water creatures relies heavily on its bioluminescent body parts to lure its prey within striking you know what's actually crazy? Like, this is actually scary. The fact that I'm looking at this, I'm like, nah, I can't be real. But then I see more footage and I'm like, this looks real. Fam, ugh. I can't eat fish. The I can't six inch fish long no Twilight Zone assassin has oversized teeth, a rather hideous face, and slippery, slimy skin that resembles that of an eel. Yet, as if their aesthetic wasn't spooky enough, as if intertwined with Hollywood special effects, some dragonfish have also evolved the ability to produce a mysterious, ominous red glow. Out of That's all the so frightening mad. sea monsters we've just seen lie. today, I don't which like one that. Need to any stop seriously me that. gives you the heebie-jeebies? Alright, out of all of them, yeah, I got the weirdest feeling from that that big one with the little light bulb that goes on the top. I can't do that. I can't do that. You saw my face. I cannot do that. Yeah, but listen, thank you for watching. This video is a bit different. I didn't like them fish. I'm now not eating fish from now on. You get what I'm saying? It's been your boy Jez Jr. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because you lot are the G's. So you lot have a best day and stay cool.